you know, the pitching is only as good as the defense behind them, and Bradfield does a great job in the outfield, and those infielders turn in a lot of double plays for him. Get a chance already. There's R.J. Austin at second base as Ben Anderson bounces out on the first pitch of the game. Payoff pitch with one out. Back up the middle, it's Vastine ranging to his left to make the play. And on a payoff pitch, Futrell gets Tate to bounce out, two gone. The solo home run in the first inning yesterday. Pops this one up behind second base. It's Austin, it's Vastine. Austin calls and catches and a one, two, three inning for Devin Futrell. Swung on and missed. Hoskins off to a good start. There you go, he uh, retires Bradfield on the breaking ball. Diaz now, RJ Shrek coming up in just a moment. Line drive towards short and out of the reach of Murillo, the shortstop. One out single for the Commodore third baseman, Davis Diaz. And the dangerous RJ Shrek comes to the plate. Hit by the first pitch, got him on the leg, and Vanderbilt has two on base for Jack Bulger. 1-1 one, one pitch to Bulger, fly ball right field, it's Condon. A few steps toward the line, makes the play. Diaz tags and will stay right there as the throw comes in. Having hit safely an eight straight. Line drive right field, Condon. Had him play just about right, makes the catch. Vanderbilt is done. Gotta maybe mix in some of that slider and some of that big stuff, and there it was. Well, top of the zone, lands a breaking pitch. It's 76 to strike out Harbor looking. Have a more intimate feel this year. Two to pitch, swung on and missed. Couldn't time it up. I'm wasting time. Fly ball, short center field. It's Vastine to make the catch. Georgia all done in the second inning. The freshman from New Jersey following his brother here to this Vanderbilt program, and he's done a whole lot of that. Swing in the bat, opposite field single to start the second. Game one, when he does what he does best, go opposite way. Maldonado on the run and safe at second. Some way they can. Cobbler stranded two base runners in the first inning. The first pitch hits Polk. Got that taken care of, one and one to Bradfield. Showing bunt, ball gets away. And they're gonna say the ball hit Bradfield, so he will go to first. Maldonado had come down in an effort to score, will return to third base. Vanderbilt's gonna have the bases loaded for Davis Diaz. Popped up right side. Georgia looks like we'll get out of it. It's LaPlante, the second baseman. Good work by Hoskins to leave the bases loaded. Futrell battles back from 2-0 and records his third strikeout as he fans Gonzalez to start the third. Futrell. Out of the reach of Austin. Georgia has its first base runner, a single by Murillo with one out. Went right back to it. Yep. Got him swinging. Two strikeouts in this inning for Futrell and four. Futrell to Anderson with two gone. Got him swinging. Three strikeouts for Futrell around a one out single. Matthew Hoskins stranding five base runners through the first two innings. Fly ball short left field might be trouble, will drop. It's going to get out to the left fielder, Tate. Shrek hustling all the way. We saw him do that yesterday and finds himself at second base with another double. 1-1, one, one. smack to center field, but right hand Anderson makes the catch. Shrek tags, trying to move up 90 feet just ahead of the throw. He's safe. Mm -hmm. Get behind it and have momentum going forward as he made the throw. R.J. Austin, big bouncer. Over the shortstop, Murillo brings home the run. A one-out RBI single as Shrek scores, and Vanderbilt strikes first, leading 1-0. One-two pitch coming up to Maldonado. Runner bluffs going, shoots it through the right side and through. Maldonado two for two. Austin going first to third. And with one out, the Commodores have him at the corners, having already played it a run here in the third. Guy's doing the job. Bunning, Nolan, trying to squeeze home a run. It works to perfection. He's out at first. But Austin comes in to score to make it 2-0. Parker Nolan showing that he can do it with power and do it with small ball. Nicely done. 2-0 lead for Vanderbilt, and Polk is hit for the second time. He's jumped in front, 0-2. Vastine swings and misses. Couldn't stay alive on a pitch down. Fourth and average, sixth and slugging, fifth and on base percentage. Out on strikes to start the fourth. Payoff. Hit a mile high towards center field. Bradfield with the shades. Got it. 
to retire the side. Three up, three down for Georgia. Kind of exhausted from the, the excitement from the weekend. They'll get a bigger lead and just kind of sees what that guy. Uh, third on a line drive to center. Hits this one deep to right field. To the wall, Condon. Short of the fence, makes the catch. Bradfield tags and goes to third off the bat. Looked like it had a chance, but it's the first out of the fourth, and now Vanderbilt has runners at first and third. Just a blue-collar player, grinds out at bats. Bouncer back to the mound. Only play will be to first. Bulger gets the run home. Bradfield scores easily to make it 3-0. Not hit nearly hard enough to have a chance at a double play. So now with two outs, Vanderbilt has added a run. It's been a problem for Georgia in this series. Bounce to the right side, Harbor, fair territory. Commodores are done in the fourth. That was a close play right down that right field line. See if this one stays in play. Down the right field line, long run for Shrek and for Austin. R.J. Austin couldn't make the play. The ball is fair, and it will be ruled a double. Efficient day for Futrell so far. Swung on and missed. He fans Gonzalez for strikeout number seven. Only other hit for Georgia as David at second, two gone. Toward Bradfield in center. Right in his tracks, makes the catch. Beautiful positioning. Look back at the end of the season and think, man, if we just won that one extra game. Line drive single by Parker Nolan as he smokes one to center field with one out. Make uh, Shea Ralph happy, the Vanderbilt women's coach. Through the hole on the left side, base hit for Vastine to put runners at first and second with two outs. <laughs> he executed perfectly or else he can get that ball in the outfield. Well, that one clearly fair as Harbor catches and goes to the base. Vanderbilt is out. Count to Ben Anderson, 0 for 2, a ground out and a strikeout. Strikes this one toward right field. Shrek at the fence, made the play. Takes away extra bases from Anderson. Two outs in the sixth. Man, I thought this thing was gone off the bat. Well struck, Shrek tracks it, tracks it, tracks it. Feels for the wall. You see that right hand, realizes he's getting there and jumps up there and. Devin Futrell. Throwing goose eggs. This looks like another three up, three down. Long throw across from Diaz to Nolan. Quick and easy for Futrell in the sixth. Chris Maldonado is the low man in RBIs in this lineup as Bulger sends a single toward left field. One out, make a two out base runner for Vanderbilt as Bulger reaches. Big opportunity to put some runs on the board quickly. Fly ball for Anderson, back toward the track to track down that one from R.J. Austin. Well, it looks like it's going to be three fly ball outs in this inning. Vastine in short left to make the catch. Devin Futrell outstanding. Seven scoreless innings, no walks and two hits. Three nothing Commodores as we stretch. Charlie Condon parks Harbor, part of the batting order, at least one more time. Fly ball, deep left center field, and that ball's gone. Chris Maldonado, home run number four. Third hit of the day, and Vanderbilt leads at 4 nothing. The heck of a swing there by Maldonado. It was actually on the exact same pitch that hit that double off the monster yesterday. A hanging slider, he's on time for the fastball. You see the hand stay back, he just kind of creates like a, a rubber band effect and gets some good backspin on it. Explodes through the ball. A great young hitter that's really, really mature approach beyond his years. At all. Hit toward third, out of the reach of the pitcher. Vastine safe. Goldstein couldn't get to it. Two outs, one in, Vastine at first. Fly ball deep center field, it's Anderson. Shades his eyes and squeezes it for out number three, but Vanderbilt adds what feels like a big run. Leadoff home run by Chris Maldonado, finds the bleachers in left field. Vanderbilt four, Georgia nothing. Cunningham yesterday. Line single to left off the bat of Fernando Gonzalez. 
So he puts one in play, and Georgia has his third knock of the day. One out base runner here in the eighth. They can go a lot longer than, than they're actually able to. Bradfield again. Rike makes the play. Devin Futrell, fantastic. Eight scoreless frames, allowing only three hits. No walks. 4 nothing Vanderbilt, middle of the eighth. See what he comes with. To the mound. It's Finley. It's Harbor. And we'll go to the ninth with Vanderbilt in front. 4 nothing. Defense back in the sixth inning. 2-2 Two -two for Maldonado. Ring him up. Showed him the breaking pitch for strike three. One out. On the infield, R.J. Austin. Two outs in the ninth. Line drive left field, and Georgia's day will stay alive with a single by Condon. The drops in front of Hewitt with two outs. Play behind the runner at first. Two one pitch from Aldonado. Back up the middle for Vastine. Will take the short way, and Vanderbilt gets the sweep with a 4 0 win over Georgia. Devin Futrell for eight. Nick Maldonado allows a base hit, and that's it in the ninth as the Commodores go to 9-0 in SEC play.